I'm curious to let's see what is there in this question. Two resistors of equal resistance R are connected to two cells of EMF E and 2E. Both cells have negligible internal resistances. What is the current in the resistor labeled X? So you want to find the current in this. Okay. So um, there will be kind of two methods here. Uh, one is um, easy, straightforward, but it is more conceptual. And the other thing is clearly the Kirchhoff's law. You can just distribute the current in all the branches. And then um, you can uh, use the tool like for the Kirchhoff's law and you can find the value. I would be showing you both of the method. Let us first go for the method number one. Now what is happening here is we can rearrange the circuit as this. Now, clearly, this is 2E, this is E. Now, this and this, they are in series. So, it doesn't matter. We can change the order of the of these two equipments. So, that resistance, I have taken it on the other side so that it becomes more relatable and more understandable. This is like this. Now, in this, I'm going to name these things. Now, let us say this point is A, B, C, D, and E and F. So, they are all in kind of parallel series here, parallel connection here. So the potential difference across EF, like this and this, these two branches, they are maintained at the same potential. So it means that the potential difference across EF is equal to the potential difference across CD and is equal to the potential difference across AB. We can assume that, isn't it? And now, we can like current is flowing from everything okay but still because there is no resistance in this branch so there is no problem the potential difference will be 2e whether the current is flowing or not that doesn't matter but in this case the potential difference across ab will be incorporating the resistance or also so this uh, vab becomes the terminal potential difference from the point of view of this battery and the potential difference across ef it will be 2E because there is no other resistance. So we can say there is no internal resistance. So we can say that the potential difference EF will be equal to EMF of the battery. So this should be equal to EF which will be equal to 2E. Now the terminal potential difference across this, we can imagine the direction of a current. Let us say this is the direction of current and current is coming out of it. If current is coming out of it, the terminal potential difference can be written as E minus IR, isn't it? Isn't it? Terminal potential difference E minus IR. This is equal to 2E. Accordingly, we can find the value of I from this. So negative IR is equal to E minus E, which becomes E. Clearly, I is negative E by R. Now, what does this mean? What does negative current means? We have just chosen the direction of the current in just kind of uh, with our whims and fancies, isn't it? Like this direction was not given. We just assumed it that it might be that the current is going out. But that is not the case. The current is moving in the opposite direction. That is why the direction of this current is coming out to be negative from our equation. But the magnitude will be E by R. It means E by R is the correct answer. But the charging of the battery is taking place. Charging of battery is taking place with the help of a current of the magnitude E by R and this would be having sending some other current and we don't care about that. So this otherwise if you do not want to use this method the only method left is Kirchhoff's law. So we have to go for Kirchhoff's law otherwise we can't do it. So now after this method I am going to provide you with the Kirchhoff's law also so the interested students can continue watching otherwise the students can move to the next video. Okay, let us see. Let us now apply the Kirchhoff's law. So now we know that the answer is C. Now in the Kirchhoff's law what happens? First of all, the step number one is that we will distribute the current in the circuit. So current will be distributed like this. Let me call this as I1 and let me call this as I2. So I2 current goes like this. I1 goes like this. So at this juncture, both of the currents will be added. So from this resistance, the sum total of I1 plus I2 current is passing through it into the downward direction. And at this junction, 
both of the currents are now separated and they are returning to the respective batteries okay so this is how we have distributed now we can create as many loops as we want we can create the equations and we can solve it let's see uh, first of all um, let us go for yeah let, let us let us create all the equations no problem uh, so this is the loop number one this will be the loop number two and let us apply the equations for the loop number one and loop number two so loop number one the battery this is the positive terminal this is negative terminal we start from this so negative terminal is coming first so that will be plus two e and then here this is r but the current is i1 plus i2 so minus i1 plus i2 into r because loop is also going downwards current is also going downwards so this is equal to zero because we return back to the same position p so this is the one uh, equation now equation number two from this loop we are again starting from the rear end of the battery so this is negative terminal first so we would be adding the battery e then it goes for this so that will be negative i2 into r and then it goes for this again the direction is the same and then we reach the same point equal to zero so now how can we do these are the two equations and you want to solve it for i2 so you can subtract these two so this factor and this factor will get cancelled out um, and we can create this equation so let us subtract these two equations so 2e minus e will give you e this okay uh, this when you subtract this these two will be cancelling out and you would be left only with this by the way okay how to uh, make it more convincing uh, uh, we can, yeah, we can find this value. This is equal to E, I substitute this value here. So this two equation will become like this. And this equation can be solved. So it will be minus E minus I two R clearly i2 is coming out to be negative e by r so this much is uh, uh, the method like this is how you have to do it and so this uh, uh, method could be a bit cumbersome and there is more chances of uh, making some clerical mistakes or something but if the other method is not clicking you in the examination hall which is quite obvious this becomes the only method that you have to employ okay so uh, more is your practice better you are with these kind of questions simple so uh, let's see what happens in the examination hall then okay dear students thank you for joining uh, watching the video please join the youtube channel if you want to access paper two questions and the online course all the best bye share the video with all your friends bye